Well, actually, I think that um, uh, it has uh, started to make that impact already, and because uh, uh, a lot of our uh, decisions are more and more being based uh, on uh, what other people have been talking about, have been thinking, have been twittering, uh, have been posting. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think that impact has already started to take place and it will just accelerate more and more. I think uh, there is a, a real danger uh, or uh, a major fear that has to be overcome. Uh, it's like uh, the fear of well, you could say going back into the forests. If you look at human civilization, you can read that as the story of uh, uh, humans being more and more empowered over their environment and getting more and more control. And um, uh, collective intelligence is, uh, in a way, it's a reverse direction. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you, you, you lose control, I mean, and you're less secure about your position uh, with respect. Uh, to a society. I mean, uh, your decisions are influenced uh, in complex and unknown ways. And uh, so uh, I think this to overcome and channel and uh, also structure uh, the, the position uh, that human beings have uh, in this new kind of environment, I think that is the major challenge. So far, I have been mainly working with uh, symbolic uh, top-down methods, uh, with uh, program analysis of various kinds, and uh, I see myself uh, working more and more uh, with uh, bottom-up things, with uh, inductive techniques, uh, learning-based stuff, and uh, how to bring these two views together. Uh, and I think that is a very, very interesting research challenge. Uh, uh, that I feel personally shaped my research agenda very much in the next five years.